Hello guys. Solvering Land, episode eight. But yeah, I appreciate all the all the likes you guys, all the likes and subscribes you guys gave me. I like the view, so I mean, I mean, I'm keeping your interest. But if you guys got any recommendations for what game I should play next? Just hit me up in the comments and let me know. I actually do want to keep you guys entertained. I mean, I, there are some games I do cut. Well. Like Modern Warfare 2, that's the best one game. Then probably God of War Ragnarok. But I'll play it probably play the first God of War on my channel. So yeah. Like like I did the other God of War, I played that on my channel. So, so okay, without any further ado, let's do this. It's been a it's been hot man, I'm not even gonna frown with you guys, it's been hot. And you know what? I'm not gonna say some people would like, try to like, I guess, hype you guys up, whatever. But I mean, some. I'm just me. I'm not gonna change you guys. Like, I'm not gonna turn to the. I'm just, I'm just gonna be the way I am. That's all I can be. It's just me. Previously be... on Hardcore. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawson's dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. You get started? I figured you could probably use a hand back here. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah. You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes Where is Dawes keeping his dirty money. money? Your little tracker, tracker scheme worked? Now right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' Dawes. corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off Mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open. Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto dialer. It's like a safe cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call them. Tell them we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. <laughs> Like Boomer. Never get tired of it. Like Boomer. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army. You know, made a local friend. So I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Mark my suit! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. I'm broke. <laughs> I wasn't covered in dust at these, like, SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. Oh, <sighs> you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safecracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh, my God, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. Okay. You know, I was actually driving, I thought it was gonna be like a cutscene. 
So what have you been doing these days? Same old thing. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So excited. <laughs> so how's your daddy? Still got a fucking go Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't agree. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh! GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> God. But yeah, guys, if, whatever, if you want to play a different game, I mean, in the future or whatever, let me know. I'll play that game. If, so you your game. dad sounds intense. He is in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. But yeah, if you want to... If you guys just want me to play, like, Dirt like whatever, Dirt straight ahead, that's ours. And Evil Within, any of the game games, just let me know. Like, even if I never heard of the game, I'll still play it. I'll give it a shot. I'm not going to be judgmental. I'll give it a shot. Just let me know. The only game I will refuse to play is, excuse my language, fucking Warzone. I don't know how to play that shit. I don't know how people do that. Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. Hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Ooh. So she kind of lied. Well, not, not kind of, but she did lie. Very, very interesting. Gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune, who set you up? She's uh, she's actually really good people. Oh sure. All right, stay behind me. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What's this place anyway? Missile silo, decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but they could. Just 
stretch it around. Okay, this way. Let's find that escape hatch. Like that Marcus kid anyway. Hang back. Like fucking know it all. Let me handle this. You guys used to let scumbags Thank like man. that live around here. Shit. We had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Hands up. Way too many cops. Stay right here. Uh. Yeah, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man, I didn't know they got some. Hey! What the hell? What the hell? Enough of this shit! <laughs> Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's the way out. Yeah. Come on. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stada gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Yeah, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> you thought. Let's just go. Come on. You will get this right man killed. I feel it. I'm, I'm scanning because I want to because there, there's that one guy I have to get, so I'm looking. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here. <laughs> Not out here. Hey, 
Hey, Randy said you got a word about that thing? Okay. Okay, so listen, what's this? Last weekend, 20 Russian Spetsnaz Special Forces comrades landed at Denver Airport. Come on, hold on. What the hell is that? I saw something over there. Something's up. Freeze. Stay right where you... I'm gonna check this out. Look around. Oh, spot me. Keep looking. Make sure no one's here. Make sure no one's here. Check over there. Hey, do you look over there? Spread out! <coughs> Shit. If you see someone, fuck them up. Someone's here, find them. One of our guys got taken out. Don't worry about where. Keep an eye out. I thought I could take him out easy, but I forgot how the M16 to three round burst. I hope they unlock my, the gun I want. Oh, I gotta do, get him again. Ah, oh, you kidding me. Oh, Nick. Hey, 
got whiskey over here, you friggin' lightweight. Someone drank it. Damn it. You gonna eat that thing? Mmm, nah, just gonna skin it. Ain't that kind of a waste? What am I, a fucking Choctaw? Circle of life. Hey! Keep those hands working. Hey, are you safe. nuts? Those hands up. You even a cop? I am. Brother, you just take it nice and easy there. I'll stay here. Alright, brother, you just take a night.
hands up. Keep them up. You got it. You got All right, time to get out of here.
I guess I just point out that, whatever. Let's just go. Way over. Ah. Is there a gate, apparently? I just gotta find the way back I can. It just sucks you can't really jump over the wall. I mean, it makes sense that you can jump over the wall. Guys, right here, get in. Come on! Quick, get in the car! Driving again? Okay. Hey, you wanna talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their old private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kinda flipped his lid. You think? Yeah. What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip, that's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Keep driving. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's hey, a lot of things I'd like to could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck, Boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this Stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys. I forgot you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. I can't see! Okay, we're gonna need a new gun today. Is everyone okay? Sure. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot.
Get this guy! That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Tony. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away. house before we go. The fire looks kind of recent. Where? Take that in the ass. people. 
Dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did Dune mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus, he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. <laughs> Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. You know, I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah. Well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? Not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why I became a cop. A real cop. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. No offense. What are you trying to say, man? Are you down for me? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Radio's on. guys are already here. Uh, 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 do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud. Boomer, Tony's guys are already here. Uh, 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 do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Hey, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud. Dick! You said loud! That took the earth! Oh, shit! Where are these guys coming from? I 
can't do this forever! But this shit is kinda complicated, man! Okay, so will we die if we take that plane up now? That is an excellent question! Boomer, I got the brute.
After we join up with Kai and Tyson, we are going straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. Ha ha ha! I remember that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.